Very latest now on Campaign 2008. There's a rally in Rhode Island. Another presidential hopeful brings his campaign to Rhode Island. Republican Mike Huckabee trying to keep his candidacy alive. There he is. Eyewitness News reporter Elizabeth Hopkins joins us live in Warwick, where a rally is now underway to drop support. Steve, as you can see behind me, this is by no means a goodbye party. And this afternoon, presidential hopeful Mike Huckabee told me why he is committed to running his race. Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee's presidential campaign has been panned as a statistical impossibility. Right now, it seems that he will not be able to secure the 1,191 delegate votes needed for the GOP nomination. And yet, Huckabee is running his campaign as if no one's told him. One of the reasons I feel like I'd be the strongest possible candidate is because I have a record to run on. Huckabee spoke to us after visiting South Providence's community prep school, praising their record for progress in education in a low-income area. He says he came to the Ocean State to tell voters about his experience and his values. Every state is important. Every state ought to have a voice in this process. By evening, he was at Warwick's Crown Plaza to rally supporters. It is the very same room where Senator John McCain stumped earlier this month. But Huckabee's wife Janet told me McCain's nomination should not be a foregone conclusion. Unless one person gets 1,191, then nobody gets a nomination into convention. So we'll see. The people who uh, sort of say, well, I, I wish we'd just go ahead and have a coronation for John McCain, do they really want that? Do they want millions of Republican voters not to have a chance to express themselves? One more live look now at the Huckabee rally where Mike Huckabee has taken to playing bass on stage. After this, he is going to head out. He's flying to Ohio tonight to continue stumping. We're live from Warwick. Elizabeth Hopkins, Eyewitness News.